Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with the Internet Hustler YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can verify or clean your email list. This is an excellent program you can use. It's a website. There'll be a link in the description below. It is free, which is awesome because there's nothing worse than when you have an email list and you're sending them out and all of a sudden you get people that are unsubscribing or marking you as spam or you have a whole bunch of emails that bounce. That ruins your sender reputation, ruins your domain, your SMTP. It's not good. So before you start sending out emails, whether it's a bulk email, a newsletter, anything like that, you need to clean and verify your list. This is very simple. Verify email. All you need to do is hit choose file, upload a list. It takes some time, but it will verify for you. So what does that look like? Well, we can go to my lists. I've got one already validated or verified so you can see what it looks like. So right here, 70,000 emails. Now a couple of points. It needs to be a file in CSV or text format, TXT, so use a CSV file. And then number two is it has to be under 2 MB. So that's about, if you have a ton of emails, you really can't go over a list of about 80 to 90,000. So 70,000 is perfect, 50,000 is perfect. You want to see what the results look like. It's really very cool. Here's the original file, 1.63 MB. So I could go to like, you know, maybe 90,000. And then it separates everything out, valid emails, roll emails, spam emails, domain invalid emails. Now, what are each of these? Well, if you click on them, it will download a file that has this amount of emails in it. So valid are obviously the ones that you can send to. Roll would be uh, like info at or admin at, help at, the, the generic type emails. So there were 4,841 of them. We're gonna skip them. Spam emails are like emails that are created on any type of domain, whether they're Hotmail, Yahoo, wherever, that it has been determined that this is really an, uh, an account that isn't being used. So it's one that someone may have created as a holding account, they use it to sign up for different things, and then they check it whenever they need to get like an email verification, but they don't wanna give out their personal email. So it's generally like, maybe an email they use to sign up for shopping lists or all of these different things, but they're not really sending email from it. So it's flagged as a spam email. You don't wanna be sending things there because they're not checking them anyway. They're not clicking on the links. So your email would end up sitting in their inbox, getting buried in a bunch of other spam stuff. And that's gonna hurt your reputation because then no one's interacting with your emails. Uh, domain invalid emails. These are emails that are maybe at someone's official domain name rather than a Yahoo or a Gmail. And some of them could be valid. Yes, they might be real emails, but it says domain invalid because some of them, the domain might be expired. The domain might not be being used. Uh, it could be a valid email, but in their hosting section, they might not have a valid MX or a DKIM record. So these, these emails are, improperly configured email addresses. And so you don't wanna to send to them because if you're sending to emails that are already flagged as improperly configured or they don't have records or MX records or uh, TXT or DKIM, they haven't been set up properly within the hosting account, they're already flagged. And so if you start sending there, then you will be flagged as well because they're already flagged and then by association, your domain or your email is going to start being hurt. You're gonna go down in the list. So you wanna skip them. Now, if you, it turns out you have a list and they're all invalid, well then you need to get some proper signups. But basically, if you have a list of 70,000 like this one, and out of the 70,000, we have 42,878 that are deemed valid. Well, let's say they're 10% wrong in each of these. So maybe there's four or 500 of the roll emails. You know, the uh, maybe it's a John Smith at yourdomain.com and he checks his email. Well, so what? Maybe there are 800 of the spam emails that are actually valid and people check. And maybe there are a thousand or so of the domain emails that people check. The point is, 
there are enough valids that we can skip all of these. We don't need to risk hurting our sender reputation. So this is a, a great thing you can use to clean and verify your email lists without risking hurting your sender reputation. That would be a great thing to do, especially if you're trying to send using any type of SMTP accounts or your hosting account, or if you're using an email software, whether it's one of the plugins that uh, I've reviewed on the Honest Reviews YouTube channel, you could check that out in a card up here. There'll be a playlist for you of a bunch of different email services that you can use. but. If you have any questions on this, please comment below. Again, the link will be in the description. It's very, very simple. Upload your list, wait for a little while, and then after a, a time period, depending on how big your list is, you will get your results. Click on them, download them, and away you go. So it's a great website, fast, easy, and free that you can use to clean and verify your email lists. I hope you like this video. Do so by clicking on that like button below. In addition, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay tuned to future videos. Until next time.